This is PT305. It was a Higgins built product laid down in 1943. For their size, PT boats are one of the most heavily armed vessels in the Navy. Two men would man this. One controls the elevation and one rotation. These fire about 300 rounds a minute. These were actually designed by the Germans and licensed to almost every country in the world before the war. Torpedoes were sighted and fired from the bridge. You come up this way, you can see the uh, sight. Do a few calculations, and when the captain would line up the sights with the boat, then he would say it was time to fire. You pull the lever and the torpedo rolls off the side and it starts off and runs to the enemy. There's a mortar on the bow, which is just absolutely crazy. Now, anybody who knows anything about mortars will be absolutely certain that you can't hit anything with a mortar from a moving boat. These were intended to fire illumination flares. Can you get down here? This was the forward cruise quarters. Eight enlisted men would live here four bunks above for lucky individuals, and then four more men would sleep on the cushions here on the couches. This was the officer's quarters. They had considerably more room. They also had with them the small arms rack so they could keep an eye on all the weapons. On either side of these bulkheads, and that's 800 gallons of aviation fuel, so no smoking in the bathroom. The engine room is amidships, and you get in through this hatch. There are three Packard engines in here, 1,500 horsepower apiece, the real heart and soul of the PT boat. This is what makes a PT boat what it is, the ability to pick up 50 tons of boat and eight tons of uh, torpedoes and move it down the road.